With recent updates launching the TMNT collab, we're first seeing full cosmetics of Shredder available for the first time in the mini battle pass, as well as some awesome mythics that does a surprisingly large amount of damage to opponents up close. The V28.30 update has also been added to the staging servers and has now been mentioned by leakers to be releasing next week. As to which it will be the final update of the season, who knows, it could likely tell us more about the mystery in the huge Disney collab. We're going to be discussing this and more in today's video, so do stick around here until the end. A lot of new cosmetics and emotes are becoming available in the shop, so be sure to pop in code VYCG while you're down there, guys, as it is a simple four-letter code which is super easy to use, and the same code can also be used on the Maono website. If you do go ahead and purchase any audio peripherals or gaming mics from this website, using code VYCG at checkout saves an additional 10% off on all your purchase. Check out the link below for more info. So with the V28.20 update, guys, the TMNT collaboration brought lots of various characters from the franchise in-game, including Master Splinter, plus other cosmetics relating to him, such as Master Shredder as well. Both of these styles are supposedly exclusive towards this season as both are claimable from the mini battle pass by buying the premium side. And also purchasing the premium side as well, guys, also gives you the Lego style as a bonus. There's also a secret as well, guys. Fortnite doesn't normally tell us. There's a possibility for both these Shredder skins to be popping up in the item shop further on as Fortnite progress. A prime example of this, guys, is when the most wanted event happened. All cosmetics seemed exclusive at the time of the event until one day Fortnite brought the most exclusive item from the mini battle pass in the item shop. And I think it was this season as well. Just a quick side note as well, some cosmetics from the Jujutsu Kaisen collab are going to be returning in the shop too. And there's also a little surprise with this. I'm going to be explaining further on in the video. Now looking at these two event rewards, do you think Fortnite should actually return them in another season? Or they should actually remain exclusive for this season only? Some other things pertaining to this season as well, guys. Everyone's asking, when will the weekend skin be out of the shop? Honestly, guys, the skin bundle isn't causing any harm. And I'm pretty sure once this does leave the item shop, it's going to have some rarity under its belt similar to some skins we know already. The artist himself is also doing some good in real life, donating a huge sum to the World Food Program to help those in need. And to be honest, it's quite generous, guys, so he deserves to be in the shop at this point. But for those who are still wondering, guys, when he's gonna leave, there is a possibility that the next skin, which is gonna be releasing in the Season 2 Festival Pass, that skin will likely take his place. Which everyone's favorite right now is in fact Juice World, considering he was teased some seasons ago by his manager saying he had a meeting with Epic Games in relation to to Juice World coming to Fortnite as a skin. Plus, he was also featured on the Eminem track Godzilla last season in the end event, so that's basically a huge hint he's gonna be releasing soon as well. Going on to some cool news, guys, about Rocket Racing, I just had to mention this. Despite the awesome cars that has been leaked to be in the shop, and we've not yet seen all of them, only one out of the bunch, guys, which is the McLaren. After Monkey talked about this new feature that's gonna get added, and I think it involves racing against yourself, sort of like a ghost version of yourself, or like a best timed version of yourself. Now, in my opinion, fams, that's going to be pretty good. It literally gives us a chance to compete on different tracks with ourselves mastering them and basically be the best of what we can be by beating those times. Now, speaking of times, the biggest collab that will ever happen in Fortnite right now or the most requested at this point, and that's the One Piece collab. A survey was found in the falls with various collabs a few months ago with Pirates of the Caribbean added to the list as well as the One Piece anime too. But special underscore Nick, who is a part of the Xbox Era podcast and who's also has a lot of inside sources from Epic, says that the next major collab is actually going to be the One Piece anime. Now for a lot of you guys who are new to the Fortnite news world, the Xbox Era podcast has proven to be a source of like legit info when mentioning these collabs as like past collabs they talked about, which includes uh, Doom, Horizon Zero Dawn, Naruto and more have all made it to the game at some point. There's also some other information that I should talk about as well. Another anime collab that will make a surprising return very soon in the shop and that's Jujutsu Kaisen. As mentioned in the past, guys, Jujutsu Kaisen, which was first released in Chapter 4 with all of its mythics and so on and so forth, it had brought various skins in the item shop and also a mini battle pass with an exclusive skin character from the anime, or so we thought. Turns out this specific style you're looking at for Itadori will be appearing in the shop soon as it was updated for the update or this update with shop sections and also backgrounds. A lot of you guys who actually own this skin are basically going to think it was exclusive 
apparently it was not. You can see a display of this on screen thanks to Venom FN, and I'm not sure if other Jujutsu Kaisen skin will be returning to the shop once these cosmetics do release, but it's most likely though. Now for Chapter 5 Season 2 guys, though a few weeks away guys, or possibly a month, I'm gonna say a few weeks, being this season is actually like scheduled to end on like March 8th, with no delays I hope, we did however get some information on what theme next season is most likely gonna be. Now based on past seasons and maps, most of the maps are based on Greek mythology, and that's how it has been for a couple of years now, or ever since Donald was in power. Next season though is not going to be any different, as we do have the Ruins POI, which is a based reference to Greek mythology, and you know also Hypex saying in this tweet as well, that the next season's map is going to have a code name which goes by Ego, which I'm assuming that means GOAT in Greek mythology. In all sense guys, with the Greek mythology map and all that, this does go good with any major collab that actually I mentioned before happening for next season especially, especially the One Piece collab as there is some sense of a piracy and you know ships and whatnot happening in that anime. Yeah, so that basically it makes a lot of sense. Now based on what we heard for Disney guys, tons of collabs of which you're seeing on screen, most of which we saw from the trailer itself, a whole new universe is being developed guys as a matter of fact. Now thanks to Disney guys investing 1.5 billion dollars in Epic to make all of this possible, however I don't think we're going to be seeing the launch of this guys for a couple more years thanks to one of Epic's staff members or basically somebody uh, having some information from Epic saying in a tweet as well. Now with all of these coming into play guys we should get more info on next week's final season update of what exactly will happen next for the Battle Royale game. Who knows possibly some new cosmetics and teasers pertaining to the new season. Just make sure you do drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notification, code VYCG in the Atom shop as well and I'll see you guys in the next one. Check out any of these videos here on screen for some more Fortnite info.